This is a recap for Thursday, March 18th. And today is a little bit difficult to recap because it was kind of a test day to see if students understood graph stories. But what I thought we would do um, to get you caught up is to uh, look at the, the quiz ease. So here are the questions. And um, the question on this one is what happened during C to D? From C to D. So if we look over here on um, the left side, we see the speed in meters per second. And on the bottom, we see seconds. So from C, which is 13 seconds, to D, which is 16 seconds, the speed was, was zero. So whatever this object was, it wasn't moving. So the answer on this one was <clears throat> that it was not moving. Um, here is the next question. It says the distance time graph shows shown represents the motion of a car. Which of the following graphs represent a car at constant speed? And I'm going to actually pull out this to take a look at this. So I want to use my highlighter and we'll use red and so time is going this direction like that and distance is going in this direction like this so distance is going like this so this would be at this point right here on this one at zero time zero distance and if we can pick a point here this could be a certain amount of time like 10 seconds and a certain distance like this um, maybe a uh, hundred feet and it just keeps going steadily as time goes on the distance just keeps increasing so this is a good possibility this one uh, the driver isn't making any new distance over time it, it isn't going up so if this is, if they are at a distance of 200 feet at time zero, at the next, like five minutes from now, they're still there, so they're not moving anymore. So it's not this one. This one, uh, they slowly come to a stop because you see that distance at some point, it never gets higher than that. So they've stopped. So somewhere along here, they stop. And this one, the distance is actually getting less over time. So the answer on this one was A. And, and let's flip this over. Graph A. Okay, which runner was faster? This is a good one to also look at. And What's really important on this, I'm going to see if I can pull out a line. I don't usually use a line tool, but I do want to make a, a red line here. And I'm just going to pick, for example, one half an hour. So I'm going to start right there. And I'm going to make this go like this so that I can look this direction. Like this. I want to look up from here. And this is the same time. Now I'm going to get my line tool, and maybe we'll make it blue. And this goes to five, close. And this one goes to three. So at the same time, runner A is at three miles. Runner B is at five miles. So in 30 minutes, they both start at the same place. And in 30 minutes, runner A is at 3 miles, runner A, B is at 5 miles, runner B is the faster runner. <clears throat> and let's check that. And that is true, runner B. Okay, let's go to the next one. Which runner uh, stopped for a rest? So let's look at this closely. And this one has an important place right here at 
time. Whoops, there we go. At time eight, so we look down there at time eight, at eight seconds, and then also at 13 seconds. So this is an important place because we look this direction and see the distance hasn't changed. So that means a rest. That means they've come to a stop. Everyone else, he was actually in the lead. And at this point, um, then Albert went past him. And at this point, Bob went past him. And so Charlie is taking longer to get to the same point. So we can look at how long it took them to get, for example, to 100 meters. So if we go like this, and we look here, and then we look down, it took Albert 12 seconds. So Albert got a 12 if they were in track to go that distance. And if we keep going, Bob, he got a 14. So in track, you want the lowest number. And Charlie, if we look down here, because he stopped, he got a 15. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's look at the next one. So let's see which runner stopped for a rest, and we think it was Charlie, and it was Charlie. All right, next problem. It says William shot an arrow in the air. The graph shows the height and uh, the height and distance the arrow traveled during flight. So this one is a little bit tricky because we're used to time going this direction and this is distance. So as the distance gets farther away, I assume that that is from William. So if it's 10 feet from him, 20 feet, 30 feet, on and on. So it starts at zero distance and at zero height and he shoots it up in the air and the height keeps going up until it gets a certain distance away and then it starts to go back down. So we really have to think about this going this direction. <clears throat> so the height of the arrow decreases and then increases. Um, that doesn't happen. The height of the arrow increases and then remains constant. That doesn't happen because of gravity. The height of the arrow increases, then decreases. The height of the arrow decreases, then increases. So it remains the same. That's not correct. So it should be H. H. Good. Okay. What happened during, <clears throat> excuse me, D to E? So let's look at D to E, and this is, we have to first pay attention to what this is. This is speed, speed right here. So this is meters per second, two meters per second, four meters per second, six, so on. From C to D was zero meters per second. So this is not moving at all. So that is not moving something that's going zero meters per second like right now most likely if unless you're in a car you are going zero meters per second you're not moving anywhere just like this right here so uh let's look at the choices Increase speed at a constant rate. Okay, so I was looking at the wrong letters. So I'm going to look at it from D to E. Okay, so I looked from C to D, and the question was from D to E, and it was an increase speed. So at mile 16, it's zero, and at mile or second 18, we look over here and it's two, and by second uh, 21, it's all the way up to maybe five. So we constantly are going 
this direction with time and also looking at this direction of speed. So I can see where that answer is, um, steadily increasing speed. So I was looking at the wrong letters. And that can happen when you're doing a test <clears throat> or a quiz. So that was increasing speed at a constant rate. Which graph below would match this situation described? So a car travels at a constant rate of 23 miles per hour for five seconds and then accelerates to 45 miles per hour in five seconds. It maintains that speed for the next five seconds. So we've got these three segments of constant rate and then accelerates up to 45 for five seconds and maintains that. Okay, <clears throat> so it's going to start at 23 miles an hour for five seconds. So let's look and see which ones we can eliminate. Okay, so definitely this is going too fast. This one looks like a 23. This one looks like a 23. This one we can eliminate. Okay, so for five seconds we have to look right here and they're accelerating four or five seconds up. This one they're going this constant speed four or five seconds. So I believe C is the answer if they're supposed to go to 23 miles an hour for five seconds and increase to 43 and maintain that for five seconds. So there's the three different five, five, and five right there of a steady and then an increase and then a steady. So C. C is the correct answer. How much does it cost to have your lawn mowed for two hours? Oh, this is a good question. So we're going to go to two hours. We're going to use a line tool this time. So we're going to make a line and we go to two hours and we go straight up till we meet the line. And then from this point right here, this is an ordered pair to something. And to figure out what that something is, we go back to our line tool and we go over here. And it looks like it's a 21, but it might, might I might be off a little bit and more might be closer to 20. So somewhere between 19 and 20 is what we're looking for for dollars. So this is going to be a maybe. If there's a if there's a 20, that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna go with. All right, so let's get rid of this. Go here, close this out, and we're gonna say oh 18. Interesting. I want to go back here and take a look at my accuracy, and so I'm gonna make my line tool go right to right at two hours and I just think I can see where they got that 18 but I think the line is a little bit above it so it's maybe they could have been a little bit more accurate um, I don't know what the choices were hopefully the choices weren't between like 18 and 19 because that wouldn't have been a good question um, all right All right, let's go to the next question. Describe the bus's motion from A to B. From A to B. I'll make sure I get this one correct. Okay, so I'm going to use a highlighter on this. And I'm going to highlight the section from A to B. And then I'm going to use line tool and go from A. Whoops, not the text, the line tool. You can go to A is right around five seconds and it's 10 miles an hour and at 10 seconds it's still 10 miles an hour. This is 10 miles an hour so it's going at a steady rate. It's been going steady for five seconds, same exact rate. It hasn't sped up, hasn't slowed down. So that's what we're going to look for in the answer.
And it says the bus's speed is remaining constant. Yeah, we agree with that. What is the speed of the bus from point A to point B? And I can see that. I don't need to click on it. I can see that it is 10 miles per hour. So let's flip that and see that is 10 oh, meters per second. It was 9 miles uh, per hour. Meters per second. All right. So let's go to the next question. Describe the bus's motion from B to C. So let's zoom in here and let's uh, just let's get the line tool. I like using the line tool on this. And let's go and check B is at 10 seconds. It's going 10 meters per second. And by 13 seconds at C, it's going zero. So it's going from 10 meters per second. And if we look in between and we go, for example, at maybe that's 11 seconds, it's down to six meters per second. And at 12 seconds, it's down to three meters per second. See how we just keep looking over here and pretty soon it gets all the way down to one or zero meters per second. So we think that what happens with this bus between B and C is that it slows down to a stop because its speed goes to zero. And the bus is beginning to slow down and in fact comes to a stop. All right, select the graph that best illustrates the story. And the story is the measurements are taken of a person's height from birth to 100 years old. And what I said in class today was, unfortunately, the answer is C. We get taller, and then over time, this might be from when we're 18 to when we're 70. And then we start to get shorter and because this is height over here. This is height going up here. Uh, we don't grow taller our whole um, life. We certainly don't get shorter in midlife and then taller after that. And we don't grow until a certain age and then just stay the same. We actually get shorter over time. So the answer on this one was C. Let's check that. Yep, unfortunately, for people who are getting older, the answer was C. All right, and that is a review of um, the quiz that we took today. And we worked on IXL, um, and we worked on Pear Deck. So um, since you're watching this, you might want to look at the Pear Deck. I'll go there. This is what we did at the end of class today, was we went to Pear Deck card four, I believe it is. We'll go to one of these. And the emphasis on this Pear Deck is card five. And you can see everybody's drawing that they're making on um, card five. And so if you're watching this and you need some help on this, I suggest that you go to office hours today at two o'clock. Uh, to learn more about how to do this. And that is a recap for Thursday, March 18th.